And welcome guys to a welcome guys to another little tutorial. Now I ran into an issue with the blender that I was using. I was using Blender 2.78A and I had problems with the IK that every single time I would try to use the auto IK it would just crash me to desktop every single time so I decided to make this part of this video because of I will be dealing with auto IK and show you how to use it and things like that and I did show it in previous things but for some reason I'm having problems now I even reinstalled it like three times redownloaded it installed it and it just did not want to cooperate Probably some um, update that Windows has had that conflicts with it, but in any case, if you ever would like a older version of Blender, which older versions still work and everything, but you know some things have been fixed and stuff. You go in here to downloads and you can download the 64 or the 32 bit. Okay. But you can also click on previous builds and it will give you this kind of stuff. Okay. And you can read previous release of Blender available and it will take you to a site where you can go clear to 1.0 all the way up to 2.78 okay so if you ever need for some reason to use an old version of blender because of maybe your hardware limitations or vice versa this is how you can get it okay now I'm not saying that you have to or anything like that, but if you run into the problem like I did, which I'll give you an example right here. Here's the rig that we will be dealing with for the video. And I will go and click on the bones. And go into pose. Now, for auto IK and everything else, you have to have this on, okay? And you click on a bone and you just type G. Oh, well, that's really dumb. Why do I have it on rest mode? Okay, pose position. All right, so this is pose position. And I would do G. And see how I'm moving it along right now and everything? And it's, it's, it's assisting me, right? This would not work. As soon as I hit G on the keyboard to do this, it would crash. So if you have that problem, the only solution that I have found is to use an older version that did not have that problem. Now, if you do not have the problem with and you can use this right here, you don't have you can completely ignore this part of the video and things like that. But I'm just Pointing out the fact that for the tutorial, I'll probably be using version 2.77. Okay? Only because of that. If you are on the newer one, it's all the same. They did not change like drastically in this part of Blender for this. Okay? Now, if for some reason you can't get the auto IK to work and stuff, probably because of you don't have this checked or all your bones aren't set up correctly for auto IK okay <clears throat> which can happen I'm not gonna lie it can happen and it would suck but it's not the end of the world alright because the method that we're gonna be using is going to help you 
in a manner of speaking for this. And we're going to go over a little bit of buttons and stuff like that. But, like I said, this is the rig we're going to be using for the tutorial. And I'm going to show you how to use some shortcuts and stuff. So, if you like this video, like, hit, subscribe, and, you know, hopefully we get some FPS animations going good for you. Now, the rig itself and everything else, I, I may see if I can get a, a link where you can download it and try it yourself. But, you know, that all comes down to if I got the space on my, on my docks and stuff. So... We'll see guys on that part. But it's not a very hard thing to do. All, I, all that it is is just map to it's a simple mesh that has a armature modifier. Actually we'll go over this. We'll go over this. But I hope you liked the video and remember Don't get frustrated. Just go over the content. And scratch through it and I'm sure you'll do fine because everything that's going to be done in these videos is going to be explained to you so thanks and uh, I hope this helps you